All right. What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are enjoying your day. I am very tired right now. I just got off work. It was a long day, but you know, it is what it is. That's just how life works. But you know, we're here to talk about the Ravens because this is the final week of preseason. The final preseason game will be happening for us on Saturday against Washington. And then after that, we will be preparing for Monday night football in Las Vegas against the Raiders. It's going to be epic. What a way to start off the season. You're going to Vegas to start off the season. That's fun. That's fun. But yeah, man, the preseason's pretty much done. It's pretty much wrapped up. Training camp's pretty much coming to an end. So we got things to discuss. All right, let's talk about some positives. Number one. The offensive line is finally healthy. We've gotten back pretty much all our guys. They're together. They're not 100% in rhythm. It's going to take them time, but at least they're healthy. They're here. They're on the field. That's a positive. It's going to take time for everyone getting together, but they're here. You know, Ronnie Stanley, he's looking good. He's looking good. He's looking the same way he's looked in the past, so that is definitely a positive. That's definitely a positive. So, you know, it's great to just have Stanley back, man. We missed him. We missed him. Oh, God. We missed him. But it's good. He's back. He's healthy. He looks ready for week one. And, you know, we'll just see how that goes. But for the rest of the offensive line, still working through that. At least everyone's healthy. So that's definitely a positive. Another positive, well, you know, it's a positive for us, you know, the Ravens flock. But it's not a positive for the individual, you know, the player himself. But uh, the Ravens release uh, the quarterback, Kenji. The, the guy they picked up to replace Trace McSorley, since McSorley's pretty much out, they picked up this guy, Kenji, and now they've released him. So with him being released and with Trace McSorley still, you know, injured and not being available, that means there are two quarterbacks on the roster. Lamar Jackson himself and the guy who's going to take up the backup position in Tyler Huntley. So now you got Jackson and Huntley. And unless they make any moves to pick up another quarterback, I think these are the two they're going to take into that preseason game. And if that is the case, then that means Lamar Jackson is set up to make his preseason debut, as if that matters. But he's a, we're at least expecting to see a drive from him. And I talked about Lamar Jackson potentially play, you know, playing in the preseason. I thought maybe against the Saints we might see a drive potentially, but you know the offensive line wasn't where it needed to be. Then this past game, I thought, okay, they might play him here. But nope, offensive line still wasn't where it needed to be. Now that the offensive line is back, they're healthy, and it's just going to take them time to get to where they need to get to. And Lamar himself, he's pretty much caught up with what they needed him to catch up with. It seems like this would be a great time for them to throw Lamar out there for a couple drives. So Lamar is set to play in the preseason against Washington for this preseason finale. He might play a drive. He might play a quarter. I don't know how much they're going to throw him out here, but... He's going to play some time, and then they're going to give the rest to Huntley, most likely. Again, this all changes if they pick up another quarterback. But right now, you've got two quarterbacks on the roster, so it's it's pointing towards the direction that Lamar Jackson is going to play in the preseason. The fun, fun, the fun part about this is that he did talk to the media today, and when they did ask him about the preseason, he was like, yeah, I mean, I'm perfectly fine with playing in the preseason. It's really just up to coach if he wants me to. But I'm down to do that. I love to play. I love to be on the field. So... It's really up to the coaches as to whether or not they want to throw Lamar out there for a drive or two. But considering the fact that now you only got two quarterbacks on the roster heading into this preseason game, depend again, I have to specify, this is just for today. This could very well change within the next couple days if they choose to just pick up another quarterback. But I don't see that happening. With Jackson and Huntley being the only quarterbacks available, they're going to throw Lamar Jackson out there for a drive. Which makes sense because now that the offensive line's back, even though the receivers are gone, this still gives them the opportunity to get some sort of look at Lamar Jackson and where he is now, as well as, you know, kind of get him some game time action before you actually get into the regular season. It's great to get him some action on the field. So this is definitely a positive for the most part, unfortunately for Kenji. You know, he's got the cut. But for the Ravens flock, that means we get to see Lamar at least something because, again, I'm not expecting too much with the receivers being out. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this game on Saturday, final preseason game before the regular season starts. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, let's get into some of the negatives. One, the receiving core. Speaking of them, uh, yeah, the receiving core, we just don't know what's going on with that for the most part. Uh, James Brochet seemed to have injured his back in yesterday's practice. You know, Coach Harbaugh also said he was going through cramps, so that's definitely 
a negative because he was definitely a guy that was doing his thing all throughout training camp. So he didn't practice today. I just don't know how that situation is going to go. And that's yet another receiver that's just, bam, not practicing. They also asked Coach Harbaugh about the situation regarding Hollywood Brown and Miles Boykin in terms of both their hamstring injuries and the timetable for when they'll be back. He doesn't have a specific timetable as to when they'll be back. They'll be back when they're back, but he hasn't really heard much about that. There's no specific timetable, so that's just great. I, don't ex I, again, was hopeful that Hollywood Brown would at least be back on the field before this upcoming game. There's still time, but I don't see it, man. I, I just don't see you still got what tomorrow and then Thursday's practice and that's pretty much it I just don't see him practicing in either one of those so we'll see what happens with that but I think when it comes to receivers we're probably not going to see them on the field until week one I think with Hollywood Brown they're not going to try and risk it in a preseason game just to get him out there no no I think for the most part they'll just get him ready and as they get closer and closer to week one then we'll probably see Hollywood Brown unless the injury is so severe that he misses the first game which I don't think that's the case same for Boykin because we haven't heard anything about his situation. At least with Hollywood Brown, we're seeing him on the field. Boy, you can have no idea what's going on with him. So, yeah, you got that whole situation. Of course, we know Bateman himself. Um, he won't be back. Good news is that he was cleared to be able to run routes. So, he'll be back at it soon enough. Give him a couple weeks. He'll be here by, like, what, week three, week four, maybe. And then, you know, Sammy Watkins himself, sometimes he's playing, sometimes he's not. I think they're kind of just limiting how they want to utilize Sammy Watkins because we haven't heard about any specific injury. It seems like they're trying to limit him because the receiving core is so thin now, you don't want to lose Sammy Watkins. If he ends up catching the injury bug, that's game over. You got nothing left. They're going to pay Sammy Watkins. So sometimes he'll practice, sometimes he won't. That's just how I see it. I don't think it's going to be a situation where it's just like, he gets injured. Hopefully that won't be the case. But so far, when he's not practicing, it's probably just them resting because they don't want to overuse him too much, considering the fact that the receiving situation isn't great. But yeah, receiving situation isn't great. And of course, the last negative we have to talk about is the same old narrative with Lamar Jackson. So they asked Lamar a lot of things. By the way, in terms of the receiving core, Lamar's whole um, comment on that was that he has he's had practice with them before they all went down. So he feels confident that when they get back for the regular season, they're going to be ready to go and they're just going to take off. They're going to be fine. So he trusts in those guys. He's worked with those guys. He has chemistry with those guys. So he believes they can come back. And if they come back at week one, they'll be ready to go. So hopefully that'll be the case. But yeah, on to this terrible narrative that continues to happen. Every year, it's the same narrative we hear with Lamar Jackson. It's been the same narrative that has followed him since he first became a starter. Matter of fact, it followed him since he was first drafted. That's just a problem, man. So apparently some unknown executive decided to make the comment that I believe this will be the year Lamar Jackson finally gets figured out. <sighs> I'm so sick and tired of that stupid narrative. It's dumb. It's just so stupid. So a guy that's what? 30 and seven as a starter. He's been to the playoffs all three years of his career. He's won an MVP. He's led the league in touchdown passes. He's won his division twice. He's been the number one seed in the AFC. He's been the first team all pro and a pro bowler. I mean, he, he's done all of this, yet we're still acting in year four and still saying in year four that this is the year they're going to put it all together. So the 40 plus games of film and the three plus years you've seen this man play, you haven't figured it out. But this is going to be the year. This is the year now. What level of logic are you using to come up with that crap? After his rookie year, you said that they got the tape on them. The Chargers got the tape. They're going to figure him out. Then he goes out and wins MVP. Then they say, okay, it was a one-year wonder. He's going to go through some things. It was a perfect situation. He's not going to make it this year. They're going to figure him out. And last year, he went through a, a bunch of situations. Several players got injured. Offense was not in sync because they lost some players. Offensive line was torn up halfway through the season. So he had to go through the second half without a proper, without a complete proper offensive line. And an actual center that knew how to punt a punt. That knew how to snap a football. I was about to snap there for a second. I was about to snap there. But yeah, had an offensive line that couldn't protect him. Had a center that couldn't properly snap. Our play calling was predictable. Receiving core wasn't getting any separation. 
He dealt with all these problems last year that many people actually predicted was going to happen because they said his MVP season, it was a perfect situation for him. No one got injured. The offensive line was healthy and one of the best O-lines. What would happen if you give him a bad O-line? He had that last year. Everything people were wishing bad on him, he ended up going through last year. He still got the team to the playoffs and won a playoff game. So at this point, if we're still acting, it's still saying these things of Lamar Jackson is going to be, you know, figured out this year, then honestly, I just don't know. I love Lamar's answer, by the way. When somebody asked him that today, he just said, I seriously doubt it. And I agree with it. I doubt it at this point. Really? You're going to, what are you going to figure out about Lamar Jackson that you don't already know? of? What are you going to figure out? We already know what the guy is capable of. Most teams can't stop it. He continues to go to the playoffs. Yes, he has areas of his game he needs to fix. We've all talked about it. I've talked about it several times. He has areas he needs to improve on. But we've already figured out what Lamar Jackson is right now. And most teams aren't stopping that. If he continues to improve as a passer, good luck stopping him and this team. Because you give him the improvements as a passer as well as this defense, that's a Super Bowl right there. But, you know, it is what it is. I get tired of the negative. But I loved Lamar's response to it for the most part. It was great. I seriously doubt it too, Lamar. I seriously doubt it. But yeah, that's pretty much all we got to talk about for the most part. Uh, practice seemed to be good for both teams. Offense made some plays here and there. Lamar, I think he had the play of the day. It was a wheel route to J.K. Dobbins, and he somehow managed to fit that pass in a tight window. So good on him. Lamar Jackson making accurate, tight throws into very, very difficult, difficult spaces. And small spaces because a lot of people say he can't make those type of passes. So hearing him do that is nice. And it's just great to see that the offense is doing things despite the fact that we don't have our receivers. And the defense is still doing their thing. So that's great. But yeah, practice is going well. Preseason game is coming up soon. It will be the final preseason game. We'll see what happens against Washington. I'm interested to see how this is going to go. But more so, I'm interested to see if Lamar Jackson is going to play. And if he does play, how is he going to look? Because we know he's not going to have his starters out there in terms of receivers. And most importantly... I'm just looking towards week one now because we're we're approaching. We're here. What about what? Two weeks? We are. Because we play on Monday Night Football. What about two weeks away? Maybe less than two weeks now until we have to play the Raiders on Monday Night Football. Season's here, man. It's about to start. It's about to get chaotic. So we'll see what happens, man. Anyway, that is all I've got for you guys today. I am very tired again. As you can see throughout the video. But yeah, it is what it is. That's life. We all got to work. We all got to do our things. We got bills to pay. It is what it is. But yeah, that's all I got. And I'm out of here, man. Peace.